Tonight, members of Indiana Task Force One are battling the elements and time as they continue their search at the site of the condo collapse in Surfside, Florida. Thank you for joining us. I'm Amanda Starantino. And I'm Mark Mullins. This afternoon, we spoke with the task force leader who says they are tired but remain encouraged and focused. 80 members of Indiana Task Force One arrived on Thursday along with five search dogs. Since Friday morning, the urban search and rescue teams has been split in two shifts working 12 hours a day. Their entire shift is spent on the rubble pile searching nonstop. They use bigger equipment where they know there are vacant apartments and in areas where they believe someone could be inside, they downgrade to smaller tools. The task force one leader we spoke with is an Indianapolis firefighter. He says the deployment has been difficult and emotional, but they approach each shift hoping to rescue individuals who are trapped. It's very difficult on uh, all my rescuers that are here, all the rescuers that are here from the other teams. Um, you know, we all have families, and I guess the thing that you can that you can kind of use as an analogy for this is, you know, these folks were sleeping in their beds at 1.30 at night when the building collapsed, and half of it collapsed. It wasn't even the whole thing. So you have to deal with why did that happen, and, you know, those folks now are, are trapped. And uh, there's a lot of things that go through your mind, and, and that cause you to uh, reflect on this. Well, there are mental health professionals on scene assisting first responders. The biggest challenges right now are the heat and humidity and the tropical storm that's approaching. The lightning is causing crews to shelter in place at times. Indiana Task Force One is generally deployed for 10 to 14 days, but as of right now, they do not know when they will get to return home.